What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel another video. Today we're doing an open cut pour. I really like that red, orange, and yellow one that I did about half a month ago, a few weeks ago. So I want to try to do another one similar. So it's going to be a traveling open cup using my cookie cutter here. And the colors we're using are fluorescent orange, cadmium red, medium hue from Liquid Text Basics, and the yellow is cadmium yellow light hue. The white base coat is this Artist Loft titanium white in the bottle, not the big jug of the Flow acrylic. Because I don't know if they've gotten their stuff together yet, but I'm not going to wait on them. All right. So there is one to two drops of my silicone in each one of those colors. Those cups are three ounce cups. This is white, my base coat. Um, mixed five to one, all my paints are. Five to one Floetrol to paint ratio. I'm just gonna put a little bit of a pillow down. I call it a pillow. It's just paint that I'm putting on the canvas so that the silicone cannot contact the canvas. I'm also using one of the larger 11 by 14 gallery wrapped canvases because I really like how the sides of them are about an inch and a half. And with that, we're gonna do this. Start with a little bit of the red. A little more. All right. And some orange. And I'm gonna let them churn a little bit. And then this yellow, which is butamous. And then a little bit of this white. Again, it doesn't have any silicone in it. But I do want a little bit of white as contrast in these colors. So let me make this a little bit bigger. Because that's the direction we're going. And I want to make sure I have paint for it. Y'all ready? Yeah, you're ready. All right, let some escape. Some of the cells are already starting to do their thing. But over here at JMO Painting, we like to help it along a little bit. Just try not to work it too much because you will definitely start drying out the paints and we don't want to do that. All right, now I'm basically gonna reverse my color order. A little bit of yellow. Some orange. I want some of it to churn, but not all of it. And we'll top it off with a decent amount of this red right here. Look at those cells already. so we don't get silicone contacting the canvas. I'm worried that it might have already done that, but I don't think it did. I think we're safe, y'all. All right. See, now I'm just thinking about how do I want to tilt it, because that's important. I want to maintain some of this negative space too, so. Making sure I got the paint for for the tilt so it doesn't skew the lines when I stretch. We're gonna use this heat gun again. I just wanna see if anything else starts happening. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of additional cells there. All right, I don't think I want any more color, so I'm gonna take this and swipe over the center of it. Create this in. All right, so we're gonna manipulate this a little bit. So we're gonna start slow. I want it all to flow as one element. Yeah. 
sir. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. All right. Just opening up these cells just a little bit. Now we can stretch it in that direction. I'm going to let this bottom middle edge get to the edge. That way it kind of holds that color. So when I stretch it back towards my direction again, the cells there will kind of be forced to open up more. But like I said, we're going to keep some of this negative space here. Bring it back a little bit. And we just want to bring it back slow. These colors right here. Wow. That's where I added that white. You can kind of see it. But it, it lightened up all those colors around it so much. It's crazy looking. Love it. All right. Let's try to center it. And then I have, I have a bunch of additional white here that I can use to finish off these edges. And, Cause I think that I'm gonna keep all this negative space here. So let's finish off these edges. Out of the way. So I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I'm in the studio painting, so I'm in my happy place. But really, like, I thoroughly love doing what I do. Couldn't imagine what I would be doing if I didn't have this outlet right now. I've also been putting out a series in addition to my acrylic pouring, which where I've been practicing with some abstract painting and I like it. It's, it's a lot of fun because it's a new technique. So, and I love trying new things. And like anything else, it's gonna take some practice, but if you'd be so kind in the comments, just let me know if, if those are videos that you actually enjoy watching or do you think I should pivot and do something a little bit different with that style? But I am very curious to see what, what y'all think. Well, all right. So I like the feathery effect on this side. There's a little bit here. A little small amount, but there's not much here. So I kind of want to open that up and I'll use my silicone straw to do that. Apologies in advance, but my head might get in the way. Look at how those cells just explode when you blow it. That's crazy. All right. Oh, I like that. That's really cool. So the consistency of this paint is more like a Dutch pour. And I've found that I get a lot more luck 
creating dynamic cells with gradients and stuff like this with a thinner consistency paint. And to me, I love the way this came out. So I wanna bring you guys down so we can all check it out and then tell me what you think, because I love this one. It looks really good to me. And some really interesting like lacing effects with that white that I added in the middle. Got some really nice big bubbly cells too. I love this one. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.